Oh, boys and girls, that stimmy check is coming for some of us. And it's already burning a hole in our pocket. We got to figure out what we're going to spend it on, right? And I got some ideas for you. But first, before you spend it, before it burns a hole in your pocket too fast, just remember that nothing from the government is ever free. $1,400 might seem like a lot to a lot of us, and it, and it is. And it is. But when you really think about it, it's a drop in the bucket in the grand scheme of things. When you realize that hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars are being spent on nonsense that will not benefit any of us, it's a little bit of a slap in the face. But that's not why I'm here. We're not talking politics. We're not talking about the country's economic situation. We're talking about modifying cars. So that's what we're going to talk about today. I have a few ideas for you for what you can purchase for your Nissan or Infiniti. And uh, let's just go for it. I hope to get you to think a little bit outside the box uh, today with this video because a lot of us seem to gravitate towards some of the same modifications. Everybody wants more power and more performance, and that's a great thing. But a lot of times, uh, supporting mods are neglected. Uh, sure, a lot of people go for lighter wheels or better tires, uh, suspension parts, and those are all supporting modifications in terms of supporting the power that you produce. But there's some other components that I would recommend as well, considering that you may be getting $1,400 richer in the next couple days. Now this may or may not surprise you, but the number one thing I'm going to mention, the number one purchase that I could mention, and this is a good one because you could purchase a bunch of other stuff as well because it's relatively inexpensive, but this is one that has made the list and will continue to make the list because it's my one of my very favorite upgrades that I've made, and I think you would realize this as well. Hotchkiss sway bars, no question about it. Number one on this list, less than $500 to greatly, dramatically improve the handling of your vehicle, especially if you're already lowered, which I'm sure a bunch of you are already, whether on springs or coilovers. And speaking of springs, spring into spring, lowering spring giveaway is up and running. Live and well, make sure you get back to that video. I'll put a link in the description below. Make sure you follow the instructions to get your name in the hat to be drawn to win those Tane Aztec lowering springs. Drawing ends, what did I say, March 28th, 3 p.m. Eastern time. That's 12 noon Pacific time, West Coast time. Tane Aztec lowering springs, Infinity Q50 lowering springs, uh, 2014 up to 2019. So if you fall in that category, or even if you don't and you wanna enter, go ahead. Again, link in the description to that video below. Thanks for entering, follow the instructions. Let's move on. Number two item to purchase with this stimulus check. Number two, man, here's a good combination. You already spent, well, let's just continue. Uh, you could buy some of these individually, but let's continue since you only spent, let's say $500 on your Hotchkiss sway bars. Jump in, make the purchase, pick up the components for the Speed Culture Studios custom cat bag system. There's a fantastic idea, guys. You want the best VQ, uh, best sounding VQ on the street? Well, you can't be the best because there's a, about 150 of us now rocking this that custom catback system on the streets already. Uh, but you could join the club. I'll put a link in the description to that video so you can get all of the components and get it pieced together and have one of the best sounding uh, Q50s, G37s. And that goes for the 3.0T guys too. This, plat this uh, system has been used on 3.0Ts, a, a bunch of them now across the country and in Canada, and it sounds fantastic as well. So again, link in the description to that video, pick up those components, have a local shop near you, uh, quote you. It's only an hour job or so, it shouldn't take uh, too much time and it shouldn't cost you a whole lot of money either, uh, but you can definitely get that system, all the components installed for under a thousand bucks, easily, easily. And it sounds fantastic. Uh, the number three thing I would consider purchasing, the number three upgrade I would consider making with your stimulus check, uh, big brake upgrade. I've said it a bunch of times, it's not necessary. If you don't really push the car that hard, um, the chances that you need the big brakes in a daily driving situation is literally zero. But if you do push the car from time to time, you like track days, you plan on doing autocross events, uh, or you just are, you know, you really rip the car around the streets, the big brake upgrade would probably be worth it. Now you could go my route and do it for under a thousand bucks, or you could even go to Z1 Motorsports, pick up the complete package, everything put nicely together uh, for like 1900 bucks or so. That's a, you're a little shy with the $1,400 stimulus, but if you can pull together a few extra hundred bucks, uh, you could have that big break upgrade. Um, but I'll put a link in the description to my video as well, uh, which has the links to all the components uh, to do it my way to get it done a little bit cheaper. And I think you'll be happy with that upgrade. So let's move it on to number four. 
Uh, number four, guys, I want to say an upgraded steering wheel, custom carbon fiber steering wheel from Jalisco's Carbon Fiber. I'm not, I'm not just saying that because we partnered together on a bunch of things. It's been one of my favorite upgrades that I've made to the Q50. It looks cool, feels awesome. It's really functional, especially if you do a lot of mountain runs or you're in autocross because that, you know, the larger, more robust steering wheel really helps prevent hand and wrist fatigue, uh, long days of spirited hard driving. Uh, it goes a long way. So. Uh, that's a decent upgrade. It's only you know a few hundred bucks for that custom steering wheel. Good quality stuff. Good dude to work with. Uh, check him out on Instagram, Jalisco's underscore carbon fiber. Get yourself a custom steering wheel with your stimulus check, and you're still going to have over a thousand bucks to work with. You guys, man, remember I mentioned supporting modifications. It doesn't really matter how much power you make if you can't put that power to the ground. Uh, so there's some components that you could piece together, and I'm going to combine a couple here. It just it just popped into my head uh, because they're relatively inexpensive. Uh, so you could get a bunch of them and it would make a dramatic difference. So um, I'm going to say you could get some chassis stiffening braces, some chassis braces from Soul Function. Soulfunction.com, you can get them. I think you can get some other pieces at Z1 Motorsports or Concept Z Performance, but they're all made by Soul Function. They are the uh, manufacturer. They're based out of Minnesota, so I'm happy to support uh, you know, home state companies always. Um, but when your car is making a lot of power and when you are driving in spirited driving situations or hit and tail the dragon or autocross events, especially with a bigger, heavier car like a Q50 or Q60, uh, that chassis twists. You know, there's, it's lacking a little bit of rigidity. Uh, so for a few hundred dollars, you can get a brace or you can get, there's a, there's a bunch of different braces you can purchase, you know, for the V36, V37 platforms. So just take a look at Soul Function's website and see what they have available. But they could go a long way in really adding some rigidity to your chassis, which is going to help you maintain uh, traction and continue to put that power directly to the ground. It's going to make a huge difference in how your car handles overall. Uh, but I would combine that. Uh, if you're driving a Q50, for example, with some subframe bushing collars from Z1 Motorsports. Uh, if you're in a G car, you could get a rear diff brace. Uh, you can get some uh, diff bushings um, for, you know, G35, G37, whatever platform you're in. Anything that can help uh, make your chassis a bit more stiff and reduce some of that flex, that's going to help you maintain traction and put that power to the ground. Uh, so, sole function. Uh, chassis stiffening braces, uh, subcollar bushings, uh, diff bushing, you know, diff braces. Uh, there's a bunch of things that you could combine and be in it all in for under a thousand bucks. So it goes a long way. Think about that. And number six, I think we're on number six. This is going to be a combination package as well. Um, because I believe that probably a vast majority of you are already lowered already on coilovers or lowering springs. Um, this is probably going to benefit all of you as well. I would look for some adjustable upper control arms. Obviously, if you're lowered, uh, your wheels have natural camber. You want to be able to get them back into spec or actually just adjust them accordingly, depending on what type of driving you do. Uh, and you can talk to the alignment shop or performance shop like Z1 Motorsports or uh, uh, Soho Motorsports, for example. Uh, they're going to help you dial in uh, that alignment or at least give you some ideas of what specs you should look for in terms of uh, the type of driving that you do. Those again, probably not going to cost you $1,400, but uh, you can add in some uh, sway bar end links. If you have the Hotchkiss sway bars, uh, you're putting a lot more, you're adding some rigidity, right, to those components, uh, especially under heavy driving, you know, aggressive driving, you're going to be really tweaking those things. So uh, your end links are going to be experiencing some experiencing some additional stress. So it's a good idea to uh, upgrade those um, and just any other adjustable arms, you know, adjustable type arm control arms, you know, camber arms and toe arms and things like that. Uh, being able to really dial in your system is going to benefit you dramatically, uh, especially if you've increased power. You 3.0 T guys that are now making 400, 450 wheel horsepower or beyond, you might be doing a lot of straight line racing but you may be doing some time attack stuff, some track stuff, some autocross stuff. Uh, it's just a good idea to be able to dial in um, everything, all of your settings. Uh, if you just drop the car, that's great. Lower center of gravity, gives you a little better handling. You have the sway bars, it keeps the wheels planted, you know, nice and evenly on the, on the road as you take some of those hard corners. Uh, but there's some other components that are very beneficial in those situations as well. So that would be my number six suggestion. You know what, I'll throw in a special one. Here's number seven. 
Number seven thing, and this isn't going to be very expensive, but I think it's important for every garage and every automotive enthusiast. Get yourself a detailing kit. I get asked all the time how I keep my car looking nice and shiny and, and wet. I try to maintain uh, the look of the car as much as I can, especially having a black car. I try my very best to keep it looking nice and clean, and I get asked all the time how it's done. Uh, there's a few key things. Uh, it doesn't really matter the brand you go with. I use Chemical Guy stuff, I use Meguiar stuff, I use Adams detailing stuff. Uh, just get yourself a kit with some nice microfiber towels, uh, some nice you know scrubbing pads or scrubbing gloves, uh, a foam cannon uh, if you have a pressure washer or they make the little foam cannons that you can use with your garden hose, uh, but then some you know detailing spray, uh, some good sealer, uh, just there's some pieces in there, a good polisher, uh, but I think having a, a good solid kit for you from the most basic level up to a more advanced level can go a long way. And you can do that for under a few hundred dollars actually just to get started. So it's just something to think about for number seven, a little surprise addition there. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're kind of struggling to think about what you could do next to your car, I, as I know I get to that point uh, every once in a while, I think those are a few good ideas that won't break the bank. Some of them allow you to get multiple pieces and still be under that $1,400 point. Uh, but just keep some of these things in mind as you uh, go shopping and fill your shopping cart online for some parts for your Q50, Q60, Q37, Q35, or whatever. A lot of these things overlap and my recommendations would be the same no matter what platform you're on, even if you're shopping BMW stuff. Okay, but hopefully guys, again, that this video is helpful. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the continued support. Make sure you get over uh, to those other videos that I referenced, whether it's the exhaust video, the big brake upgrade, upgrade video, or the spring into spring Tane Aztec lowering spring giveaway video. Uh, that thing ends on March 28th, 2021. So get over there, get yourself entered, follow the directions. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the continued support. We'll see you in the next one.